Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, we have a giveaway. You can download five free call to action sections with overlapping elements for Divi. I'm gonna show you how to download it, install it, and how you can also save it to your library. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to go to this post, which I will link to in the show notes below. So this post has the downloads that you need for the sections. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down here until I get to this point where you can download these files. So the first thing you want to do is to enter your email address. Now, I've already gone ahead and done that, and this is why this download the files button is showing. So when this button shows up, uh, all you have to do now is to click on this button, and this will download all the files. Now, I'm not going to do that because I've already gone ahead and done it. After you You've downloaded this file it's going to be zipped so what you want to do is to unzip that, uh, that that folder and then you want to come to your wordpress website so over here the very first thing you want to do is to add things to the library so you want to come over here click on dv library and then you want to click on import and export click on import and then this is where you get to choose the files. So if I click here on choose files, it's gonna take me to the folder and you can see here is DVCTA overlap sections. So this is the folder you wanna to come to, but now you can either install these individually like um, uh, per, per section. So this is um, the one, two, three, four, five. So you want, let's say you want to install just one of them. You can just go ahead and just choose the one that you want. But uh, to make things easier for us or what I prefer doing is to just come over here and click on DVCTA overlap sections all. Now this will import all these sections, okay? So I'm gonna click here on open. And then all you have to do is to click import Divi Builder layouts. Now I've already gone ahead and done that and you can see here, these are the layouts, they've just been imported. So what you wanna do now is to add these sections onto our websites. So let's come over here to pages and then click on add new. So there's two ways that you can add these sections. So first of all, let me start by adding a name to my page here and then click on use Divi Builder. So I'm gonna come over here and build from scratch. Right, so the very first thing you want to do is to decide how you want to use this. Do you want to load all of them and then start deleting them um, as you wish? Or do you want to just use one by one? So in this case, I'm going to show you two ways. So you can either come over here, click this plus button, and then click on add from library. So if I click here, you'll notice that these are the call to actions, right? So you, let's say, for example, you want to use the first one here, number one, you can just click on it. And then it just gets imported and there we go. It's right there in our in our page. And then all you have to do is to go into these individually. If you want to change the colors, you can go in, change the colors and do whatever you want to do. Now, the second option I'm going to show you is loading all of these in one go. So to do that, let's first of all delete this. So what you want to do is to come all the way down here to the bottom on our expand settings. Click here on this plus button. And then you want to come over here to your saved layouts. So I'm gonna click here on saved layouts and there we go, this is the full layout. So if I click on here, this is going to download all the sections in one go. So now that they're all downloaded, I'm just gonna click here on publish, exit the visual builder, and now we can view them. So these are all of them all loaded up. So if you want to customize this, as I mentioned before, you can just go in and customize these individually, change the colors and so on. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. and I'll see you in the next video.